Wow, did you hear about this? There was such a stunning moment that brought people to tears in the trial of Michael Jackson's Dr. Conrad Murray. It happened when the prosecutors questioned the medical examiner who did the autopsy on Michael Jackson. So here is Ryan Smith with more on that. Robin, one of the biggest moments in court yesterday involved this. This is Michael Jackson's autopsy. Now, the medical examiner took the stand yesterday. He's the one that takes a look at Michael Jackson's body after his death. And he described Michael Jackson's condition. Now, in doing so, the prosecution did something very controversial. They put up a picture of a deceased Michael Jackson. We can't show it to you. It's just that graphic. But in doing this, the response in the court was what really stood out. You see, jurors, they took a look at that picture, but they seemed unfazed. They just continued taking notes. It was the response in the gallery that had everybody transfixed. Katherine Jackson and Reby Jackson came to court earlier that day, but they weren't in the courtroom for this. Most likely, the prosecution told them they'd be putting this picture up, so they left before it even started. But in the gallery, members of Michael Jackson's fan club, they were in that gallery. Three members hugged each other, and one fled the courtroom. Now, Michael Jackson in this picture was gaunt-seeming. He was about 5'9", 136 pounds. But the medical examiner said something very interesting about his condition. Take a look. Uh, I believe that he was healthier than the average person of his age. Now, why did the prosecution put up a picture of Michael Jackson? Again, 5'9", 136 pounds, appearing gaunt after death. The medical examiner had already talked about, he thought that this was a homicide. He talked about how Michael Jackson couldn't have given propofol himself, didn't see that as reasonable. So that's a lot of what the prosecution wanted to accomplish, right? But in cases like this, sometimes prosecutors put up a picture like this to get the jury to connect with the victim. You see, putting up a picture like that may make the jury think someone has to be held accountable for Michael Jackson's death. So while this was a very controversial move, it was one that maybe the prosecution planned to try to get people to connect to the fact that Michael Jackson was no longer with us. Ryan, thank you. There are only three witnesses left for the prosecution. You got two doctors and a sleep expert. Then it'll be the defense's turn. Live wall to wall coverage is going to start at 11 a.m. Eastern right here on HLN. Check it out anytime at HLNTV.com.